Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss uh, question paper of 2018. Today we have to start the new chapter, but uh, today I am not starting the new chapter. Uh, I because I want to check ke tum, tum ne jitna kiya hai ke usme se how many what is the weightage of that. We have done. We have finished the current electricity current current electricity part. We have finished. So let us check. Let us see the questions which are asked in the board from the current electricity. I have chosen the question paper of 2018, similarly 2019 and 2020, you are getting near about 10 to 15 marks question from the current electricity. Okay, definitely you are going to get from uh, 10 to 15 marks question from here. So now let us uh, see this question, the question the the first part is very easy. In the first part, he is asking you distinguish between the ohmic and non-ohmic conductors, give example. Is asking you okay, you have to differentiate between ohmic and non-ohmic conductors by giving an example. So, you have to give an example, you have to give an example, and then you have to uh, explain, you have to distinguish between ohmic and non-ohmic conductors. So that means in this question, nobody has any difficulty. So, what are the ohmic conductors? Ohmic conductors are those conductors which follows the Ohm's law. And non ohmic conductors are the conductors which do not follow the Ohm's law. And what is Ohm's law? According to the Ohm's law, the potential difference, or we can say the current is directly proportional to current is directly proportional to current is directly proportional to potential difference. Means okay, when we increase the voltage, the current is increased accordingly. When we decrease the voltage, the current decreases accordingly. If the conductor is only conductor, then the graph for that conductor will be the straight line slanting on the x-axis. If it is not the only conductor, it does not follow, it is not following the Ohm's law. In that case, the graph is not the straight line. He is asking you the example, so you can give an example of any metal. Okay, because all the metals under and when the physical conditions are kept constant, they follow the Ohm's law. So you can give any example, you can say copper and then draw the graph for that. Okay. Yeah. And you can also, uh, in the non-ohmic part, you can give example of any semiconductor, we can say, koi semiconductor le lo. Okay. Or you can, ha, yes, you can, of course, you can take the semiconductors ka koi le lo. Ya fir, you can take any non metals So it is of three marks. So if we have, like this much, so you are getting three marks for, for this question. Three marks pure ke pure mil jayenge. Two marks for the distinguish between and one marks is for giving the example. Simply you have to write the name of the metal and one non-metal metal and one non-metal. You have one metal or one semiconductor. Then in the second part, three cells each of EMF E. You are having you are having three cells each of EMF E means ke the voltage of each cell is E. And the internal resistances are the internal resistance of the cell is R and the EMF of each cell is E. What we have done, we have connected them in parallel. So he is asking you find the current flowing in the in the circuit. So he is asking you that means we have to find out a numerical type question here. So now let's see it here how we have to do it. First of all, just make the circuit. Say suppose this is the cell one, its internal resistance. This is cell 2, it is its internal resistance, then this is cell 3, its internal resistance. So it is R, it is R, it is R, it is E, it is E, and it is E. So what does he is asking you? He is asking you the value of current flowing in the circuit. So its circuit may be not current flow right? So that value we have to calculate. This value ko calculate karna. So this is the circuit diagram. So now from the circuit diagram, we have to calculate the value of I. So if you remember the basic formula, or we, I can say the basic law, basic law kya hai tumara? V equals to I R. This is the Ohm's law. And from here, the value of I will be equals to V upon R. Okay, I equals to V upon R. So it means ke what we have to find? We have to find the value of V. We have to find the value of R. Put it here and then we will get the answer. So what is the value of V from here? So they are connected in parallel or jab bhi ap cells ko parallel mein lagate hai, the voltage will remain same. So that means the voltage will be, that means the value of V will be equals to E. Okay, the value of V will be equals to E. But what about the value of R? 
So for calculating the value of R, what we have to do, we have to calculate the equivalent resistance of these three, uh, these three cells, and then we have to add the resistance of the circuit which is given to us R. Okay, circuit ka resistance kitna diya hai, usne R diya hai, cell ka resistance kitna diya hai, uh, R, small R, small R, and small R. So we have found the voltage, mainly nikal di hai. Now I am finding the value of uh, resistance. So the value of resistance will be, say, I am writing. Uh, 1 upon they are all in parallel so 1 upon rp i am writing 1 upon rp equals to 1 upon r plus 1 upon r plus 1 upon r on solving this i get to 3 upon r so that means the value of rp will be equals to r by 3 so this is the value of rp so now total resistance so total resistance will be what what is uh, total resistance what about the total resistance the total resistance will be how much it will be R plus small r, this uh, R by 3 plus capital R means that we have to add the resistance of the circuit. So it means say total resistance, total resistance equals to how much R by 3 and plus R. So this is the total resistance. Now what we have to do, we have, we have to simply put that value because we want to calculate the value of current so us value ko mujhe yahan pe put up karna so uh, i equals to how much i equals to e upon how much r by 3 plus r isko thoda sa solve karke aap dikha doge this 3 goes up so it will become 3e upon r plus 3 r so this is the value of current which we will get from the from that circuit which i have drawn okay so this is the value of so if this much you have done so you are getting three marks for this or oh, not three marks four marks it is of four marks so three marks ka hai, four marks ka. now coming to the third part of the question in this question is it's the simplest question so i think you don't get so, what simple question hai in this question, but he is asking you, he is simply asking you calculate the equivalent resistance. Equivalent resistance calculate karna hai between these two terminals A and B, A or B, B ke beech mein, we have to calculate the equivalent resistance. So, for calculating the equivalent resistance, let us see the circuit very carefully. Or, jahan pe stretching aap kar sakte, you can stretch it, or stretch nahi kar sakte, so you have to use your brain for solving it. So, don't uh, start solving it from here if you start it from here you will not get the you will not get the right answer so we have to start we have to always start if the circuit will come to so always start solving the circuit from the, from, from the end point we have to start from here so I am going to go like this I will go like this I have to go like this so it is 3 ohms and this is also 3 ohms 3 ohms 3 ohms 3 ohms they all are in series as you can move current, all are in series, then they are in parallel with this. So it means it circuit for us reduce curve. So it will be now it will be like this. It's for series may add kia to ye 9 ohm kia. So I'm writing 9 here. And they are in parallel with this 3 ohms. And then this is 3 ohms. And then this is 3 ohms. Yeah, this is point A and this is point B. Now these two are in parallel, so that means 1 upon RP. I have to write 1 upon RP equals to 1 upon 9 plus 1 upon 3. Okay, 1 upon 9 plus 1 upon 3. So solve it. So your LCM will be 9. So 1 plus how much? 3 3 is a 9. So that means 4 by 9 we are getting. So RP equals to how much? 9 by 4. Leave it like this. Now your circuit will be will reduced. Circuit all reduced. Okay. So it means that this 3 ohms is solved kiya. This we are getting 4 by 9 and this you are getting how much 3 ohms. So this is point A and this is point B. So 3 ohms now they all are in series. Series we have add karna hai. So to add them in series, kya karoge? Simply 3 plus 4 by this, this is 9 by 4 and not 4 by 9. So the value uh, just see here the circuit I am making once again. So, ye kitna hai tumara? this is 3 and this is uh, solve kiya tha usko. Ye 3 ohms hai. Ye 3 ohms hai. This is uh, how much? It is uh, 9 by 4. It is 9 by 4. And this is 
three ohms. So three right here R equals to three plus nine by four and plus three. So solve it now. Where LCM will be four. So three plus not three twelve plus nine plus twelve. So on solving this, you are getting thirty. Uh, uh, twenty-four, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33. We are getting 33 upon 4. The solve curve is so we are getting 8.25 ohms. So this is your answer. Similarly, and uh, we have to solve uh, questions uh, related to current electricity from 2019 also and 2017 also. If you don't have a paper, I will send you the questions from there. Okay, but uh, please do it. See the videos and regularly do your homework and your send your work, send your problems, you are not sending me the problem, it means that you are not watching the videos, na to videos dekh rahe ho tum, okay, or na hi you are, so, uh, you are doing the, you are home, okay, send your problem, the problems aayengi, then it means, ke, that means that you are studying now, so for today only this much, thank you very much.